What's up, J Squad? It's your boy Jaden Michael, and today I have an unboxing for you. Yes, and this plain box holds a special item. If you guys don't know that Boost Mobile is doing a limited offer, if you are on Facebook and you go to Marketplace, it should pop up somewhere. It's Boost Mobile limited offer for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, $49.99. And I walked out of the door paying $163 and some change dollars for iPhone 7 Plus, 32 gigabytes, let's focus that up, 32 gigabytes, the matte black, and it is in this plain, simple white box, it's not an Apple box, so we're doing it this way, hopefully it's a little better, I got some accessories for the phone that I will show you guys, get a little unboxing knife, okay, so I'm just going to slice the phone, down the side right there, so that one's off, be the other side that one's off so now we're going to open the phone up just like that. and on top you're greeted with the phone i don't want to drop it let me do a little wipe down on it so here it is 5.5 inch screen you can see my outside 5.5 <laughs> inch screen right there you have on the bottom two speakers speaker grills uh the charging port but this one on the left side is actually not a speaker. It's actually the mic. This one is the speaker. It's a, it, it, it's compatible with dual speaker, but you'll never guess what the dual speaker is. Actually, you would. This is a two-year phone, two-year-old phone. So, of course, you know where the dual speakers are. It's this one, the right side, and your main speaker grill as you're talking. So, we'll test that out in a minute. You have your button that does not push does not push, does not do anything because of the taptic feedback. Um, so the iPhone 7 and 8 both have the taptic feedback, so that's pretty cool. I'm actually getting used to that, and it's actually really, really fun to use. On the left side of the phone, you have your toggle switch right there, your on and off. You have your left and right, or I'm sorry, up and down. Very clicky volume buttons. On the right side of the phone, you have your power button. You have your very clicky, by the way. Uh, you have your SIM card ejector slot. You have a seven megapixel camera. You also have a dual camera on the back. You have two 12 megapixels. You have a LED flasher. So the camera is really, really good. Like I love the camera. I've actually took a couple pictures with the uh, portrait mode that I'll show you. And this one is the main camera right here, the 12 megapixel main. This one is the, <clears throat> I forget what they call it. I've done, I've watched a lot of uh, videos about it and I still can't remember what it's called, but it's the wide angle lens. I believe that's what it's called. It's the wide angle lens. It helps, that's what uh, zooms in for you. So there's gonna be a one X and a two X and you push the two X, that's when the second camera gets involved. Of course you have your OG Apple logo. Of course, you still have the Apple branding, uh, the iPhone branding with, you know, designed by Apple in California. The 8 and 8 Plus, of course, you're not going to have those. The 10s all up, you won't have those. Um, top, you have nothing. The antenna bands, I love on the matte black and the jet black. Um, I really don't care for it on the rose gold, silver, and gold because they're white. Like, it just looks really tacky, just like the 6S Plus. Thank God, though, they don't have the white line going across anymore, and it's just up there. I can deal with that on the rose gold, gold, and silver. I can deal with that. It's just that line on the 6S Plus and all that stuff that, that was going through that I really didn't care about. It was just so stupid to me. But I can deal with it being white on the top. But I wish they actually made it the color of the body, just like they did black and jet black. If they made the rose gold one like a rose gold going around or a gold or a silver going around... The silver one kind of blends in. It's kind of like a gray that blends in. That's pretty cool. The gold and rose gold, if they would have uh, blended into the body, would have been pretty cool. I'll be doing an unboxing very soon of the iPhone 7 Plus uh, rose gold edition to show you guys what I'm talking about on the white. Uh, that's going to be my girlfriend's phone, so I'll show you guys that. Before anything else, let's power this on right there. I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff that was in the box. So this is how you know it's going to be a pre it's a pre-owned phone like i said 
Um, you can tell because I have a little bit of, uh, you know, scratch, not scratches, but, you know, dents. If you can see by my finger, right, the glare, the glare of the sun. So right there is a little dent, you know, a couple more places all up there. Not dense, but like little scuff marks, little white scuff marks that, you know, I'm not sure them up because I bought a case for it. So it's a nice little two part red case. The uh, red part is actually um, hard plastic and the black part is, you know, the squishy plastic. So you have all your cutouts and all that stuff. I got this from Cricut, this case, the phone I got from Boost Mobile, of course. So like I was saying, this is how you know. It's going to be a pre-owned if it comes just like this. You know, it has this um, little thing in there. This is where the SIM card was. Of course, they put it in the phone. This is just a pre-owned eligible device, 90 days limited, replacement warranty. And then this is how it looks set up. So no earphones, no uh, dongle, just the charger and the uh, brick. So here's the wall wart. Here is the lightning cable charge and sync USB cable for um, iPhone, iPad, and iPod. So that's pretty cool. Take it out of here. And it's a nice little three feet. So there's the USB part and the lightning part, of course. So for syncing, uh, when you're syncing music from your laptop, you know, iTunes, go to your, um, to your phone. I also got headphones with the lightning connector because like I said, um, in the box does not come with the tonk, the the dongle or the earphones. So I had to buy these separately. My dog in the back, are you kidding me right now? Dorothy, what are you doing? <laughs> but I had to buy these separately at Walmart. These were twenty six eighty eight and the dongle was only nine dollars. So dongle is pretty cheap. This dude the dongle is pretty cheap, $9. It's in my car, actually, so I don't have it with me. I don't have the box either. I saved it, but I don't know where it went. So these are the headphones. They're not in here, of course. I already opened it. But, of course, they look like the headphones um, that you open up in a regular iPhone box. And then you just have a little, a little pamphlet, you know, you open up. And you just have, like, all the... The things, the warranty, the Apple One Year Limited Warranty, and I need to know I'm recording a video. Dude. And then this shows you how to use the headphones and all that stuff. So I'm gonna put this back in the box and show you what the headphones look like. Of course, you already know what the headphones look like, but like I said, if you're getting the pre-owned from Boost Mobile, they're not gonna have the headphones in there. So you're gonna have to go to Walmart and buy them. Twenty-six dollars eighty-eight cents. Nine dollars for the dongle, not expensive at all, but here is the headphones itself, left and right. I hate these earphones because they don't sit in my ear. Like, they're good, and then once I just do some movements, like if I'm nodding my head, rocking out, they'll start to slip out. Like, I don't know what's, like my ears are big, like I have huge ears, so these don't fit my ears, but I do use them and they work pretty good. Here's the lightning connector that goes to the phone right here. The bottom of the phone connects just like that. You have your up and down toggle switch. You have your mic, of course. So yes, these work pretty good. The only downfall is you cannot charge your phone and listen at the same time because they both take up the same port. So. They will take up the same port, so you cannot listen to music and and um, charge at the same time unless you buy the AirPods, which are Bluetooth. Then you can charge and, of course, listen to music or charge and listen to your music out loud. Or get an adapter where you stick into the lighting port and it's, it's a connector where it has the headphones, like regular 3.5 millimeter headphones, and the charging port. So you can charge and listen at the same time. I will invest in getting that and show you guys how that uh, looks and how it works. And um, so yeah, that's all I pretty much got for accessories. Let's get into the phone actually, and I'm gonna switch the camera around and do it at a different angle so you guys can see very clearly. So let's get into it. All right, so we're back in it. So 
first I'm going to test out the, uh, show you guys the fingerprint reader. So you have to push and then boom. There's also another way you can do it and I'll get into the settings and show you guys right now is you can push a button so you see my finger first finger is not a fingerprint it's my thumb so it's going to take me there but if the screen is on and I just place my finger hold up, rest my finger there let's show you guys that again if you just rest your finger there it'll open up so you don't have to you know sit there and hold your finger on there you could just press it and go so that's actually in the settings if you go to general you go to accessibility um, home button I believe is it home button wait, wait, wait. yes so if you go to accessibility home button rest your finger to open so open your iPhone with a uh, touch ID without having to press the home button so if you turn that off and you lock the screen and you touch it with any button and you touch it and you just rest your finger well, it's working because all right let me see so just see now you can press home to unlock. It's not going to rest your fingerprint. It's going to unlock it, of course. Press home to unlock. So it's unlocked. So now you have to press it. So if you turn the rest open on, now it's going to open up. So that's a cool little feature that I like to keep on. Let's um, go to general. Let's go to about phone. Show you guys what this is running. This is running 12.4 iOS. Um, you have 32 gigabytes. I have a 9.7 left because if you can see, I have way too many songs and I know, I, I know, but yeah, you have 32 gigabytes. The highest is uh, 256, I believe. And, um, 128. So 128 is the uh, middle. They don't have the 16 gigabytes anymore. Thank God. But yeah. That's what we're rocking here. So you guys can see software update. I'm updated. 12.4 iOS. Um, so let's also show you guys the home button. So if you go to touch ID, no, 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 not touch ID. That's actually in general. Yeah, it's in general and home button. So you can switch up the home button so if you guys want to read that you can read that there pause the video and read it so when you're setting up your phone when you're on the um um the setup screen it'll tell you that you know find show find your your the right click basically so i don't know if you guys can hear that but one is too light Two is just in the middle, like it's it feels good, but three is perfect. Like three feels like I'm pushing a real button. So you guys can go in. I've seen a lot of videos where someone likes one or someone likes two or people like three. Like all of these are a mixture of your own preference. I prefer three, of course. So I'm gonna click done. So you can go back if you feel like oh one is perfect on your setup screen, like when you're setting up your phone, one is perfect. And then you click done and then you realize one is not good at all like you want to change it you can go back in and you can change it to the right setting so that's that so this is a retina hd display right here 5.5 inches of course um it's multi-touch display so you have 3d touch right there you have 3d touch in um the camera so take a selfie record a video scan QR code take a portrait so that's pretty cool you also have um, a haptic touch so basically you go to your um, your bar right here and you have haptic touch so you can change the brightness of your flash that's called the haptic touch and you can actually it vibrate so you can 
feel it moving not with the light though but not with the brightness but you can feel it with the flash like it's it's vibrating I can feel it with the flash so you can change the the lighting you can uh, touch on the calculator timer 45 minutes so you have pretty cool stuff camera all of that stuff um this is a 1920 by a 1080 pixel resolution at 401 ppi so you know this is a fast very fast processor uh you have the a10 uh fusion chip inside of here so pretty fast pretty fucking fast um so you have two 12 megapixel lens. You have the first one, which is a wide angle lens, and you have the second one, which is a telephoto lens. Um, the wide angle lens is a 1.8 aperture, and the telephoto lens is a 2.8 aperture. So um, we're gonna get into the uh, pictures right now. But so this is a portrait picture that I took of my dog. As you can see, this is, it blurs out the background and it only focuses on the subject, so it blurs blurs out his back, blurs out the background up there, and it just focuses on his face. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a regular picture that I took, a regular photo, so you can see the background is not blurred out. And also, it zooms in. So when you're taking a regular photo, this is the same photo, but this is the regular camera. It's not blurred out. You can see everything. And then when you go to the portrait, it zooms in on that particular subject and it blurs out the rest of the back. I took another one of my dog, blurs out the background, and then of my other dog, blurs out the background. So this is the portrait filter. You guys can see this is the regular camera lens, the regular photo. So we are in the camera. If you look on top, you have your flash. Auto on or off. I always keep it off. You have your HDR. Auto on or off. You have your live photos, which mines are off. Now they're live. I always keep that off. You have your timer. You have 3 seconds, 10 seconds, of course, off. And you have your filters. Your uh, Instagram filters right here. All the cool little filters. Down below. Here is your where your camera comes into play. So let me get a, a subject box. So here we go, we have a subject box. We are on 1x right here. So if we push that 1x, it'll jump to 2x. And that's the telephoto lens coming into play. You can also, if you hold down, you can go up to 10x. Push that up a little bit. And you can still see, let me find it, let me find it. Okay, there we go. You can still see all that, like I could still read uh, where are we at? Where are we at? I could still read all of that. It's a little shaky because I'm not left-handed. But I could read all of the prints. It's a lot shaky because I'm holding it with my left hand and I'm not left-handed. So let's get out of that. So, yeah, you have your, your one times and your two times right there. So, yeah. You gotta check that out for yourself, you guys. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, you have a portrait. Just standard portrait. This is not the iPhone 8. Uh, iPhone 8, you have different portrait uh, settings. You have your square, your pano, the photo, your video, your slow-mo, and your time-lapse. So, um, and also as you can see, there's no settings here in the camera itself. You actually have to go to settings and um, go to your camera to get your settings. So you have your preserve settings. You have your live photo you can turn off. You have your filters you can turn on. You have your camera mode you can turn on. So play with that if you like. Your grid, your uh, SQ card or SQR codes you can turn off or on. Your record video records up to 4K, 30 frames per second. Lowest at 720, 30 frames, and then you have 1080, 30 frames, 1080, 60 frames, all that. You have lock camera to turn on and off. 
you have your record slow mo time 1080 120 frames or 720 240 frames. So, this is um, for all the people that you know buy this phone or these higher iPhones with these um, good quality cameras for photo, um, you know, photo taking. You know, you like taking uh, nice pictures and recording nice videos. This is the phone for you. Cores up to 4K. You know, um, pictures are great quality. All of that stuff. So, um, next I want to show you guys the speakers. So, like I told you guys, the speakers are duals from the top and the bottom. So, let's get to a YouTube video. Good looking out for the 553 subscribers. A thousand. 1K is the goal. So, let's open up a fellow iPhone video. Awesome. Put that on. Put this on the highest. 1080. RIP to the iPhone 6s. We no longer have this phone. This was my girlfriend's phone. What's up, everybody? Today I got a new unboxing. It is of the iPhone 6s. The speaker right there. Top Apple logo 6s. iPhone Apple logo 6s. It is a 32 gigabytes. I'm block this one. This the reason why this is here on the back. If you can see, is because this is from a P, um, one of the prepaid. So you can see, I blocked this speaker, and it was still coming out of this one. I blocked this one; it was still coming out of that one. So let's get to a non-copyright music, a song. So the speakers are very loud, very, very loud. Dig them a lot. So I showed you guys the speakers. I showed you guys the camera. Uh, gaming performance is very, very cool. I play Fortnite all the time. So I'll show you guys the quality of, um, of the gaming. So we're in, as you can see, it looks just like, you know, when you're, if you're playing on uh, your PlayStation or your Xbox, and it feels just the same, it just it's a little it's a little bit tougher trying to build and all that stuff. Um, I like having a controller where it's much easier, but you have to really get used to it. And I really got used to it, so this is that, and the quality is really good. Uh, there's no lag whatsoever, um, so you know you have all your you know all my stuff right there. You have your um, cart right there. So this is legit like, you know, the real Fortnite. So it's not no knockoff. It's not no, you know, um, basically it's not a knockoff. It's the real deal. It's legit Fortnite. So that was the gaming. You also have your, well, your erasing your apps, your double tap apps right there. So your double tap to clear your apps. Should you get the camera? the photos, the settings, I showed you guys gaming, I showed you guys YouTube videos, so this has been pretty much it, you know, um, this is a great phone, like I said, Boost Mobile has only a limited offer for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, so you guys should go cop that, and um, if I miss anything, please comment, and I will get to your questions ASAP, so I'll catch you guys in the next phone unboxing, or video. Check you guys in the next one. Peace.